Would you like to learn how to read Hebrew in as little as nine hours? Or you want to read Hebrew without making mistakes? I'm here to help. Shalom, I'm Rabbi Akira, and with my special color-coded vowels method, you will read Hebrew accurately, independently, and fluently. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you shortly. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. Let's begin with the Hebrew vowels. Learn to read Hebrew in 18 steps, the whole Torah on one foot. Similar to English, Hebrew vowels compose five basic sounds. A, E, I, O, U. In Hebrew pronounced A, E, I, O, U. Bechavruta logo represents the five Hebrew vowels. A as in aqua, E as in red, E as in green, O as in orange, U as in blue. In modern Hebrew, Nikud is a system of symbols used to represent vowels or distinguish between alternative pronunciations of letters of the Hebrew alphabet. For example, bet and vet. Pe, fe, kaf, chaf, etc. Note, there are more than one symbol for each vowel. If we look at the aqua vowel, we can clearly see that we have three different shapes, three different symbols. We have patach, kamatz, and chataf, patach. In modern Hebrew, patach is pronounced the same as kamatz. In modern Hebrew, segol and segol and sere are pronounced the same, e. However, in Ashkenazi Hebrew, they are distinct, where segol is pronounced e, tsere is pronounced a. But to native Hebrew speakers, these distinctions are non existent. Different from English, vowels make no sound unless they are related to a consonant. To make the sound a, e, e, o, u in Hebrew, there is a need to use a silent consonant like aleph or ein with each of those vowels. Hebrew is read from right to left, so that's going to be a, e, e, o, u. Remember, there is no direct correlation between Hebrew and English vowels. What do I mean by that? In Hebrew, the words sad and sad sound the same. So someone may say, I felt sad. In Hebrew, the words sit and seat, fit and feet, slip and sleep sound the same. So someone may say, can I sit on this chair? What does hippopotamus have to do with the Hebrew vowels? The word hippopotamus is the only word in English that I've found so far that has the five Hebrew vowels. We have the a, as in aqua, e, as in red, e, as in green, o, as in orange, and u, as in blue. So if I'm going to read it transliterated, I'm going to say he, Po, pa, te, mus. He, po, pa, te, mus. Hippopotamus. And that's the whole Torah on one foot. Shalom, and welcome to step four of the Chavruta Learn to Read Hebrew in 18 Steps Crash Course. The whole Torah on one foot. The Chavruta logo represents the five Hebrew vowels. A as in aqua, E as in red, E as in green, O as in orange, and U as in blue. A, E, E, O, and U. So far we've learned in step 1, 2, and 3 the aqua, the A vowel. Today we're adding the E vowel, the second Hebrew vowel. So, as you can see, we have the aqua vowels, we have the patach, kamatz, and chataf, patach. And we have for the red, for the e vowels, we have tsere, segol, chataf, segol, and shevana. All these, you don't need to remember the names. When you see the red vowel, you know that you need to pronounce it as a sounded vowel. We're going to learn two new letters. We're going to learn 
Mem and Mem Sophit, final Mem. Now, five Hebrew letters are formed differently when they appear at the last, as the last letter of a word. Final Mem, Mem Sophit, only comes at the end of a word. Let's review before we read our keywords. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's read. Um, let's practice our Hebrew letters. All the Hebrew letters that we know so far. So we've learned the Shin, the Bet, Taf, Taf, Tet, Vet, Aleph, Ein, Mem, and Mem Sofit. Final Mem. I'm going to review it again. Shin, Bet. Taf, Taf, Tet, Vet, Aleph, Ein, are silent letters, Mem, and Mem Sofit, Mem and final Mem. So let's try to read our keywords. So we have a Shin, a vowel, so that's going to be She, She, E as in red. Then I have a Mem, Aqua, A vowel, and silent Ein. So that's going to be ma, she, ma, shema, here. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema, here. Second word, we have aleph and e, red vowel. So that's going to be e together. E, mem, e vowel and taf, met, emet. E met means truth. And the last one, we have the silent letter Ein and A vowel and Mem Sofit. That's going to be Am. Am means nation. Am Israel. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel. Chai. The nation of Israel is live, alive. Okay, so let's move on to, and remember, final Mem only comes at the end of a word. Let's move on to the reading page. Reviewing the letters, uh, practice and review um, and repetition is the key to learn any language or to learn anything, right? Uh, so we're going to review it again. So we have Shin, Bet, Tav, Tav, Tet, Vet, Aleph, Ein, Mem, Mem, Sofit. Hebrew is written in red from right to left, so we're going to start on the right-hand side. We have a Mem and an E vowel, red vowel, so that's going to be me. Tet, E vowel, te. Bet, B, E vowel, B. Ein, silent, E vowel, E. Tav, E vowel, te. Mem, E vowel, me. Shin, eval she, ve, e, me. And here we have a mem, a vowel, and mem sofit. Mem sofit will never get a vowel because it comes at the very end of a word. It closes the word. So you will never see a final mem, mem sofit, with a vowel. So that's going to be mem. Mem. It's got, the word is the name of the letter, Mem. So let's read it one more time. Let's read the first line one more time. Me, te, be, e, te, me, she, ve, e, me, mem. We're ready to move to the second line. Mem and A vowel, ma. Bet, A vowel and tet, bat. Ma, bat. Ma, bat. Aleph, E vowel, E. Mem, A vowel, ma. E, ma. E, ma. Aleph, A vowel, bet, a vowel and silent aleph at the end because it doesn't have a vowel. So that's going to be a, ba, a, ba. Aba means, do you remember? 
daddy, or father. Okay, the next word. We have silent aleph and e, red vowels. So that's going to be e. Mem, e vowel. Met. E, met. Do you remember what is emet? It's our keyword. It means truth. Emet. Next word. We have silent ein. A vowel and mem sofit, final mem. So that's going to be am. Am. Another key word. And it means nation or people. Am Israel, the people of Israel or the nation of Israel. Next word. Shin. A vowel. Sha, vet, e, vet, vev, vev, sha, vev, aqua red, sha, vev. And the last word is another keyword, she, ma, she, ma, here. So let's read the second line one more time. Ma, bat. Ma bat. E ma. E ma. A ba. A ba. E met. E met. Red red. E met. Am. Am. Sha vev. Sha, vev, she, ma, she, ma. And guess what? Mazal tov! Siman tovu, mazal tovu, mazal tovu, siman tov. Siman tovu, mazal tovu, mazal tovu, siman tov. Congratulations! You've completed sample step number four. Fourteen sample steps to go. Good job! Lehitraot! See you soon! If you want to learn how to read Hebrew in as little as nine hours, or you want to read Hebrew without making mistakes, Bechavruta Learn to Read Hebrew in 18 Steps is right for you. To get copies of my Crash Course books, please visit rabbiakira.com or you can get it on Amazon. Sending many blessings your way. Lehitraot! See you soon!